Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Um, I hope everyone's having a great Anzac day. Um, just thought I would jump on and just do a quick card today. Um, do you want to spend hours today? I'm sure everyone's got things to do and spending the day wisely after getting up early. Um, so I just wanted to have another play with yet some more stuff that is retiring in my little look at what's retiring sessions. <laughs> which means get it now before they are gone forever. So I grabbed out watercolour words and this set has been around for a while, quite a few years and it's great. I love it and sorry to see that it's going. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna have some fun with that. And I'm also using the Delightful Daisy. Hi Sam, um, Delightful Daisy DSP. So, um, I don't have much of this left actually. I've only got these two full sheets and some other bits. So Delightful Daisy is an absolutely gorgeous um, DSP and I'm sorry to see it going. And uh, every time I say DSP, people say, what's DSP? It's just the designer series paper that Stamping Up has. So I've created this card here and I really love it. So I'm gonna create one on camera for you guys so that you can create it at home. And if you haven't, got the paper and all the stamp set then make sure you get it before may 31st or it's only while supplies last so you can contact me to order yours or um, jump onto my uh, website which is scrapronnie.com and you can follow the links from there to shop now and you can shop for that 24 7. so yeah so this is one we're going to make so i have um tranquil tide which is not retiring. It is not retiring, just letting you know. <laughs> uh, the last couple of videos I've been using some retiring colours as well, but um, a lot of the colours in this paper is not retiring. So Tranquil Tide, that's my card base, and I've cut um, a piece of the paper. So I'm going to use this side this time. So this card actually uses this one, which is so pretty, but I'm going to do it this side this time, and see what results we get so that is cut at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths of an inch and then I have a piece of tranquil tide that is cut at three and an eighth by four and an eighth and a piece of whisper white which is two and three quarters by three and seven eighths. So we're gonna be able to mat that up like that. Okay, so it is quite a simple card and I'm gonna be using the flower and the leaf and I can pick a sentiment. I'm gonna pick you're the best. Oh, will I pick that one? Yeah. Yes, but I haven't used that one, I don't think. I've got a Just For You and a Hooray already made. So I'm going to do a You're The Best. I think that's pretty. How are you going today, Sam? Um, I hope you're having a, a lovely Anzac day. Okay, so the key to this card is to use lighter colours in the background for our flowers and leaves and a darker colour for the sentiment. So this one, I'm just going to use the green in the DSP for this so I thought I'm gonna have the flowers in pink so it doesn't really matter um, I'm glad to see that's good Sam um, it doesn't really matter what color flower I use for this one because I'm using the green and the green so I could actually pull out any color that's not even in that DSP but for now I'm gonna use powder pink which is what I used with the other one. Oh, excuse me Sherelle hi Sherelle thanks for joining in Okay, so what I'm going to do is my powder pink, I'm just going to ink that up and I'm just going to stamp my flower three times, just towards the right and I'm going to have my sentiment a bit to the left and it didn't matter if they overlapped a bit, just a cluster of flowers which is really pretty and I had a small block, I did have a smaller block and I don't know where that's gone and with my pear pizzazz which is not missing. No, it's right here. Right. Pear pizzazz, because once again, I want another colour that's a bit 
lighter. So I'm just going to put in a, oh, that didn't even come out there, but that's not going to be a problem. I love the stamp set because it's just got that imperfection. So if you stamp it wrong, it's not going to matter. All right, so just like that. So that's going to fill up that card and it's super sweet. How easy is that? Okay, then my sentiment. Let's move those out of the way because I know I'm going to end up with powder pink and pepper zazz all over me. Hey, did you guys see we're getting the new um, packaging for our inks, which is a bit exciting and scary all at once. So the actual ink inside is going to be exactly the same. So the colours that are staying, the inks staying the same and the foam part inside is actually staying the same as well. So it's just the actual packaging. Actually, I've got an ink pad here. I'll give you a sneak in a, a, just a minute. And it's one of the new ink colours. All right. So now I can just put this over the top like that. How sweet's that? And because it's that darker colour, it's just going to go right over the top of whatever we have stamped underneath. So I love that. It's so easy. Okay. So then it's just a matter of assembling those all up. So how quick and easy is that, guys? Pretty cool card, I reckon. Great way of using up your DSP. So I think what I might do after May 31st is go and get the rest of this pack, everything I've got left. And just quickly make up a whole bunch of these cards because that's going to be easy. Now, some tape. And oh, I love this side so much. So beautiful. Kind of like blasphemy covering it up. So how are you today, Sherelle? I hope you're having a good day too. Anzac Day is always an early day. Well, it is in our household. I didn't even get to the march or anything, but it's still an early day in our house. So, did anyone get to the march today? I'd like to know. I do love the marches, I think they're wonderful. All right. It was a bit annoying though, having Another day of school, though. <laughs> ah, it's only week, what is it, two? <laughs> ah, dear. Okay. And that one straight on the top. I just realised that my white must have been a little bit bigger for the other cards. This one's got more showing in my mat. So it's up to you. But um, there we go. So there's, some, I quite like it with the green. That pink really pops out on this one now. So compared to this, um, that pink sort of blends in a bit to the background. So I love both of them. And that's just one of the other papers in the same set. And I used, um, did use Soft Sky, which is quite light, very light. So I think I might use Pool Party, which is just that shade darker on that one. And then don't forget your um, envelopes. I've done the envelopes for the other ones I've done. What did I do with my envelopes? Here we go. So I did pink flower. Couple pink flowers and my green leaf. And put a couple of those in. wherever they fit. And then there is the matching envelope. You could, of course, do some on the inside. You could put an insert on the inside. We can do that. Oh, if I can find a white. Got a whole bunch of vanilla cut here. These are white. There we go. And 
do the same for the inside. Much easier to do that now while you've got all your inks out. <laughs> Because it's annoying, you put clean them all up, put them all away, and you go, ha ha, So there we go, and put that on the inside, just like that. There we go. That's good to hear, Sherelle. I'm glad you're having a good day. So there you go, guys. That was quick and simple. And um, yeah, hope you guys have got this set. Don't forget, it is retiring. It will be gone, while stocks last, but it will definitely be gone May 31st for the DSP and the stamp set. So thanks for joining me, guys. See you later.